Yeah, I haven't posted in a while. Uh, quarantine, right? Things have just been going downhill in LA and therefore so has my life. The second quarantine, is this the second one or is it the third one? Honestly, I can't even keep track anymore. The one that is happening right now in December has happened. So I have decided to leave. <laughs> I haven't seen my dad in, it feels like years. Usually he comes down for my birthday every year, but obviously because of everything going on right now, he couldn't this year. So I haven't seen him in a minute. So uh, I'm gonna go to Arizona, which is only about a six hour drive from LA. So I'm gonna be leaving tomorrow early morning and I'm just gonna hang out with him for like two weeks, him and my stepmom. Our days normally would consist of sitting around the fire pit outside, drinking beers, grilling steaks, having food together, watching TV together, and just playing pool together. Like a very simple sort of vacation. I'm leaving tomorrow probably around, I'm gonna be waking up around 5 a.m. So probably like on the road at like 6 a.m. I like to leave nice and early. So yeah, so that's what's happening. So I'm running errands today and then tomorrow will be a very early set off to Arizona. So let's get some stuff done. two cups of coffee this morning um, because I needed it, but it kind of gave me a headache. <laughs> it kind of made me feel a little nauseous. So I'm really excited about that for the next six hours. Oh, I love when there's no traffic. So I am on my way. I plan to listen to Stephanie Sue's podcast about serial killers, listen to some music and just kind of zone out as much as I can. <laughs> the drive there is always harder than the drive back. I feel like it's usually the opposite for some people, but I feel like I forget like how long it takes. So then on the way there, I'm always like, man, am I like, how much longer do I have? But then when I'm coming back, like the drive is so fresh in my mind that I am prepared for like the longest drive ever. And then it ends up being like not as long. This is the trick to like long road trips. You have to leave like really early in the morning because then by the time I get to Arizona, it's going to be noon. can put this in park. Google Maps said it's going to be 
a 26 minute slowdown. That's okay. 26 minutes is nothing as long as everyone is okay. We're like really out in the middle of nowhere right now. This is the last place you want to have an accident. This is the only place so far that I don't have service at all. So I my podcast won't load, Spotify won't play. You know, I might have to resort to good old fashioned <laughs> CD. Let me see, what do I have? Spice Girls. Okay, Beyonce, Gavin DeGraw, Coldplay. Oh my God. Aerosmith, Deep Purple, Cream. Man, Marilyn Manson, Nickelback. System of a Down, Smashing Pumpkins. I feel like listening to not a single one of these things right now. Is, is that, is that Justin Turner? Well, we're still here. Google Maps said 26 minutes, but how are they gonna guess how long they're gonna need to block off the roads to clear up an accident, you know? I'm scared I'm gonna be here for like hours and hours. That's happened to me before. If I could listen to the podcast right now, I'd be chilling. I don't have to pee. That's a problem. I'm surrounded by semi trucks. Don't they have bathrooms in there or do they? Maybe they don't. Thank you. I mean, it's only 9.48 at least. I still have about three and a half hours to go though. Mm. I'm bored. What can I do? You wanna play truth or drink? Been waiting here for probably almost an hour. What can I do? Why do I check my car like I have fucking board games back there or something? Do I have any fun stories? Let's see. I'm on my way to Arizona. Arizona. Um, desert. Scorpions. I had a friend growing up in elementary school whose house was a little bit like more, could I even say rural? She was kind of far out there. She had like a farm. She had chickens and shit. I've seen several scorpions at her house. A lot of people think that scorpions are like a common household, like I was gonna say animal. They pretty much are an animal. The equivalent to like roaches. They're not. Black widows, those are more common. I remember, so I was at that friend's house. Saw like, so on the side of her couch up against the wall, we saw this huge spider web and a black widow right in the middle of it. It was beautiful actually. Her brother woke up and came out to like join us, hang out with us. And he, he came in and he sat right in that corner, like right into the web. And we both were like, oh my God, oh my God. And he's like, what? And the my friend was like, you're sitting in a black widow web. And he's like, no, I'm not. She's like, yes, you are. And he's like, no, I'm not. And she goes, go like this, like with your arm, go like this. So he goes like this. And she goes, no, bigger, like move your arm. So he swings his arm like this and you hear the, like you could hear it like breaking thread. Their webs are like really strong and there was like resistance on his arm. He freaked out, started screaming. It was also at that friend's house that you saw a scorpion in the house and her brother without even thinking stepped on it. Number one rule with scorpions, don't step on them because nine times out of 10, they're pregnant. All these thousands of little white beads disappeared into the carpet, mayhem. Fucking mayhem. They had to vacuum the whole house for like an hour. I honestly grew up not being afraid of snakes. It wasn't until I saw one in person jump. Then I was like, oh shit. I am now afraid of snakes. There's also a lot of cactus in Arizona, cacti. One time when I was younger, I went out to this like recreational park with my dad and my stepmom and a jumping cactus jumped onto me. Do you know what that is? It's like a ball covered in spikes. And if you walk by it, it like, I don't even know how it happened. It was stuck on my leg. My dad took a rock and he like, he swiped it like this to kick it off of me. And instead of coming off, it just rolled to the other side of my leg. Meanwhile, I'm screaming bloody murder. It's not like it hurt, but it was just, it's gross. Like it's a gross feeling when there's a foreign thing attached to you, which reminds me, oh my God. Wait, have I already told this story before? I used to model for AMI Clubwear, which is like an online fashion store. And we had to do our own hair and makeup. I'd wake up at like the crack of dawn, do my hair and makeup, and then drive an hour to the photo shoot. Went to the gas station to go get gas and fill up my tank. And then I was on my way to the photo shoot. I'm on the freeway and I'm going fast. And I look in the rear view mirror to check my makeup. And I look down and I see 
this big ass bumblebee latched onto my neck onto my neck that was the most terrifying moment of my fucking life first thing i did was swat it i just couldn't help there was no thinking about that i just did it swatted it and then i pulled off on an exit i got off the freeway i pulled over i jumped out of my car and i was freaking out and there were these two old little hispanic men sitting on lawn chairs in their front yard they looked at me like i was crazy they were so sweet they came over and took like a magazine that i had in the back seat and like scooped the bee up i don't know why it wasn't flying around i don't know if maybe it couldn't fly how the fuck did it end up on my neck then i honestly i don't know it's still a traumatic experience that i think about from time to time <gasps> oh my god i need to stop eating these i have to pee like i have to pee like i have to pee <laughs> I think the guy behind me is Justin Turner. Pretty cool, no big deal. Should I show him Jacko's leash? Is that a joke? Get your shit together. I'm so bored. Why don't I sing for you guys? I'm just kidding, I wouldn't do that to you. I look... You know what? I'm gonna be nice to myself. I look great. I see movement. I see movement. <gasps> I think we're good. I think we're good. Oh my God. That was like an hour and a half. I wonder where the accident happened. Oh no, why are you breaking? Why are you breaking? Don't break. Oh my god, everybody's stopping again. No. Y'all better just be rubbernecking. I'm stopped. It's 11.33. Which means I've been sitting here for two and a half hours. I'm starting to get quite irritated. I have to pee so bad. <sighs> We're in the middle of nowhere. Like, like look. This is, uh, this is my view. Like what, like what? Two and a half hours. I was supposed to have been in Arizona in 30 minutes. I'm still four hours away. I don't know what to do, man. Honestly, this wouldn't be so terrible if I had something to fucking do, but I don't, because I don't have service out here. So I'm just listening to CDs of music I used to listen to in high school. Yeah, for like the first 10 minutes, I'm like, oh my God, the used and All American Rejects, like fun. It's, I'm over it, I'm over it. We're moving! Woo! Two hours, 45 minutes. We're moving! Woo! Sorry. We're here! God, that lighting is hideous. I'm like five minutes away. I can't believe I sat in the middle of the desert for two and a half hours. I almost peed my pants. It is, it's 2.39, but Arizona's an hour ahead. So it's almost four o'clock right now. It's been a long day. Yeah, I'm here. I'm so excited that I'm here. I need a beer and that rhymed. I'm so excited to see that. Hey lady. Hi. Hi baby. Mila.
something to do shit that drive was pretty gnarly thank you guys for watching and i mean really thanks i'm gonna go wash this off watch some asmr videos and go to sleep i'm happy to be home i'm happy to be here just to drink some beers play some pool with my dad and just sort of relax but yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time Thank you.